Is the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali worth the price of $78,195? We're going to take a look today at this truck nice and close and try to answer that question for you. The exterior color on this model is a cayenne tint coat with atmosphere and brownstone interior. I'll give you a quick look at exactly what that looks like. A perfect view from right here. As far as that goes, obviously you're going to have the multi-pro tailgate back here. That tailgate is one of the best in the industry as far as all of the different things it can do. And there are some additions that you can add here that aren't here. The kicker audio system is available. You can also add lighting here on the tailgate on each side within this area. It just makes everything so much easier to add to the lighting that's already on the truck. So we can see the LED tail lights right here. We're also going to have the LED headlights, the LED daytime running lights. All of the lights on this truck, including the fog lights down there on the lower portion of the bumper, even though I don't have them on right now, are also LED. So a nice look, a nice aggressive look with the nice, large, aggressive looking, powerful looking blinkers right there. Hey, that's why you want to use your blinkers when you're driving around, right? Going to have some chrome here on the front end with a nice large grill. Again, that aggressive look there, the GMC logo in the middle. And then the chrome lower portion of the bumper here with the chrome tow hook. So when you're pulling the Fords and the Rams, the Nissans and the Toyotas out of the mud, well, it's not going to be a problem at all. And you can do it while looking classy. More chrome here on the mirror caps, but you're also going to have the flat black trim right here as well. You got the 6.2 liter V8 under the hood, chrome surrounding the logo right there. And then on these chrome door handles, you're going to find the button right here. That's passive entry. You can lock and unlock the front doors or all four doors from that button right there. Now you already know from the badging here on the side of the truck that the 6.2 liter V8 occupies the engine bay. It puts out 420 horsepower, 460 pounds feet of torque. This is a four wheel drive truck and power makes its way to the ground through a 10 speed automatic transmission. You do have a 22 gallon gas tank. So quite a bit of fuel capacity here. And what about fuel mileage? 15 city, 19 highway, 17 combined. And according to GMC, you should use 5.9 gallons of gas for every 100 miles you drive. That's if you keep your foot out of it too much, which might be kind of hard to do considering the fact that this truck makes so much horsepower. 275, 60 is the size of the tires, the 275 on the width, 60 on the sidewall, and then you have 22 inch wheels. Normally this truck would come with 20 inch wheels, but these are the 22 inch wheels that are optional. Really a better look there. Nice chrome wheels. If you like chrome, this is the place to be. You have the Denali logo right there. And the power side steps right here. Let's just show you a couple of things here real quick. Very nice. They come out quickly and then there's a little bit of a delay before they go back under the truck in case somebody wants to hop in or out real quick. That way it's not a problem. And then right back here, this is going to solve the problem of what if you need to gain access to the front of the bed right here. So what you're going to do is you can tap this with your foot and then it's going to ultimately come back like that. And you just step up there and look at how much easier it is to gain access to the rear area of the truck. Now, I'm going to show you something else here. You have the power adjustable heated side view mirrors, but that's not all. They are also folding side view mirrors. All I did is hit the button right down here in case you were wondering how I did that. A very simple process to do that for sure. And let's take a quick look while we're at it at the remote. I know that a lot of you like to see what's on the remote, especially that remote start. It's going to be right there. And then there's lighting all around the truck to help at night, to help make it easy to see all around in every form and fashion. So speaking of that, let's talk a little bit about functionality back here. You have the multi-pro tailgate, kind of an interesting name because it's a multitasker. You can use it as a table. 
in any form and fashion that you want to here, as far as being in this position, you can make it a bed extender by raising up what is ultimately the step. Like I said, it's a multitasker. That is just a couple of the things you can do here. Now, the tailgate does open in the conventional fashion, but you have a second option for the bed extender right here. So if you want to have the tailgate open like this and use that step as a bed extender, well, there is how you do that. And then I can reach down here and hit the button. Let's hit the right button. There we go and drop that down. So now it's the step. It has graphite material right here. I always think of grip tape on a skateboard because that's basically what it is. That looks really nice and it functions really nice. It'll keep you from slipping on and off of there when you're getting in and out. And to make it even easier, GMC, I think this is better than what the F-150s have. Tell me what you think in the comments, but you don't have to slide it out like this. And I don't know, it just seems more stable. I can really get up here without it if I wanted to, but as you can see, that was absolutely no problem. And I like the fact that unlike some of the F-150s I've reviewed in the past, that would compete with this Sierra Denali, it comes with the spray-in bed liner. We're gonna have the Denali logo there in the front and 12 different tie downs, three on the front, three on the rear at all four corners, quite a bit going on here. You also have the power outlet right here. So able to power your tools, whatever you need to do when you're out on the job site, out working, you're gonna have the LED lighting here in the bed as well. Now you might notice I haven't given you towing numbers. Well, here's the thing. Obviously this truck can tow quite a bit, but just because I give you a tow rating, say of 9,000 pounds, doesn't mean that across the board in all situations, that's what you can tow. That's what this sticker is for. Only found in the GMC and Chevrolet trucks at this point. So that gives you all the information you need to know what you can tow, what your payload can be, all that good stuff. It's all there and it tells you what you can do based on, well, how much payload you have, how many people are in the cab and their weight, and even what's on your trailer. And all of those things factor in to what you can really ultimately tow. And by the way, you do have the locking rear differential, the two-speed transfer case, and you're going to have those nice exhaust finishers down there, again in chrome. Obviously, you're going to have the tow package here. You can see that by the hitch receiver and the built-in bumper steps right here. Very nice. As of 2019, these were made a lot deeper than they were previously before that. Now, one of my favorite features here is found in the rear seat area. We took a little bit of a quick look earlier at the door panel right here. Nice large door bins. But here is that feature that I'm talking about. I'm surprised other truck makers have not jumped in on something similar to this. The in-seat storage in the seat backs on both sides, and then not something that's as out of the ordinary as that seat back storage, but you can raise the seat back seat cushions up here and use that area for storage as well. So that helps out. And then I'm gonna tell you what, there is a lot of space back here. And one thing, let me hop back out for just a second. One thing I really like here, you don't have that really tall transmission tunnel protruding up into the floor. It does have a little bit of a rise to it, but not very much. It ultimately is very comfortable back here for whoever is in the rear seat area. A lot of space. There's so much room you could almost live back here. I said almost, didn't say you could, but there is a lot of space. Drink holders galore. You have a drink holder on each side in the door bins. You've got two right here, and you have two more right here in the fold-down armrest. So quite a bit going on there. Outboard heated seats. So if your rear seat passengers don't want a cold butt, they better sit on the outside by the doors and not right here. <laughs> Just in case they need to know connectivity options right here. It would be nice to see three USB ports in the back of some of these trucks. So maybe down the road, GMC can add that. It'd be good to see. And the air conditioning vents here, they do get the job done at the size that they are. But again, I'm gonna say maybe a little bit larger on the air conditioning vents in the future, or maybe even up here in the door or in the uh, pillars right here for the door pillars. But there is room right here, but just 
observations that I'm making here. Obviously the end seat storage right here. And last but not least, and here is where some of your feedback comes into play. You do have the, the excuse me, the standard size sunroof. Would you like to see a panoramic sunroof? Tell GMC down in the comments what your thoughts are. And one more thing I want to share here. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're all by yourself and you're saying, I want to check out the back seat of my truck, maybe you want to climb back there and take a nap, unless you're real agile and you don't mind climbing through the pass-through between the front seats right there, make sure you check right here. These are the child safety locks on these trucks. They're not located, the button for that is not located on the driver's side door. They're on both doors here on the driver and passenger sides. And when it's in that up position towards the lock, that means they're not active. But when they're in this down position, as the direction of that arrow indicates, they are then active. Make sure you check because you want to know if those doors are locked or not. You could actually kind of play some pranks on your friends with that as well. But you did not hear that from me, so don't refer them to my video. Now there is a difference as we open the side door and activate those power side steps between what you won't see here in the rear and what you will see in the front. It's the Denali logo here on the door sill. Very nicely done. Again, chrome surround, chrome lettering, it's all there. Also, you have the power seats here for the driver and the passenger. Gonna have the nice piping right here and the Denali logo in the seat back. Always wonder why is it only in the front? Maybe GMC can put that in the rear in the future. It just seems appropriate, at least in my opinion. And the upper and the lower gloveless glove boxes. I say gloveless because, well, I never find gloves in these glove boxes, no matter what the case may be. Maybe one day somebody will put some gloves in one of these glove boxes for me to find. Lower glove box there. And then we'll hop inside using that nice grab handle. That definitely makes a difference. And just give you a quick look at the dashboard. A nice look. Going to have that nice wood paneling or wood trim right there, I should say. And tell me what you think about the shifter. Do you like this style of shifter? Would you rather see a different style of shifter or maybe a column shifter? I know everybody has their opinions on that. Then one thing you might notice that's not here. There's no wireless charging pad. Well, don't worry about that. That's because it's concealed away right here. That is the wireless charging pad as of 2022, but still a nice large lid for the center console. It doubles as an armrest, makes things nice and comfortable there. And let's see if I can get this to open. There we go. So you've got a lot of storage here, not only with this removable storage tray, but also with the additional storage down there. There's another power outlet right there, more connectivity via USB right there. And there is a light in there, a little bit hard to see, even though it's a little dark in here, but not dark enough to see that during the day, but it is there. There are the controls up here for the power sunroof, the power sliding sunroof, and the power rear window that's on that rear window we took a look at earlier. And something that really impresses me here, let's hop inside and look at the graphics that come up on these screens. So much going on there. I kind of got the steering wheel in the wrong place to really show you much of that. But you can see what happens with the animated graphics here on these dashboards. GMC has definitely stepped their game up where that's concerned. So here are the controls for those power heated side view mirrors. I showed you that button that folds the side view mirrors, power folding side view mirrors, and then controls here power parking brake, there your driving mode, that's your selector, and the control for all the lighting all around the vehicle. And right here is going to show you something else that's here, the head-up display. And we'll reach over here and hit the push button start, get that going and up and running. And you even, at this price point, you get a blinker lever. So you can turn your blinkers on and let drivers around you know what you're doing. That's pretty cool. That always helps. Now, the nice 13.2 inch instrument cluster for the driver. So that definitely does a great job of giving them a lot of information. Depending on who you are and what you need to know, well, there's a lot here. I'm not going to go through every single little detail, but there is a lot. You can make adjustments and customizations depending on what you want to do or add or change. It's all here 
It's all very easy to learn and or use depending on your situation. And speaking of those driving modes, let me toggle through those. You've got normal, sport, and we'll keep going off-road. It's a little slow to react, but we're already back to the beginning. So those are your three driving modes. For those who are challenged with directions, well, there's your compass. That's going to help out quite a bit. And a nice steering wheel, nice and comfortable. The steering wheel mounted controls here. Got your cruise control over here. Controls for going through all the features I was going through earlier and your voice commands. And just a nice overall look with the dashboard. But I tell you what, here is what impresses me the most. The 13.4 inch screen. And it's interactive with Google Assistant. You can use your voice commands for just about everything you can imagine. And probably a little bit that you can't imagine. Even having her tell you a joke. Let's see if we can get her to do that. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Sometimes she's slow. <laughs> I told you she was a little slow sometimes. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just try that another time. But she will do that, I promise. So she might interrupt me here in a second, but I think we got out of that. But anyway, as you can see here, you've got Google Maps. Again, that is interactive. So you can actually use Google to tell you what's going on with that, to give you directions. And you don't even have to touch the screen. That's what's nice about that. Everything very easy to use. And then I love the fact that you have so many different camera views. Now I want to show you something interesting here. Obviously you've got the overhead 360 degree view and that gives you everything in real time. You're going to see everything live on the screen. Here's our front camera. If you pull that up one day and it's dirty, don't get out and clean it yourself. Go over here to this multitasking turn signal lever and this button right here. This is not only going to run the windshield washer fluid, it's also going to run the front camera washer. How is that for cool? Fords are not the only ones that have those now. So that's really a cool thing. A couple of the different views and angles around here. There's your cameras on the mirrors, the side view mirrors. There is so much here. I tell you what, I challenge you to look through everything and just kind of use what I call the hunt and peck method so you can see what this truck has. I mean, it literally has everything. You can pair your phone, obviously. You've got all of that functionality there. As you can see, you can go into trailering and take care of everything there. Obviously, you've got your hotspot settings right here if you want to go in and make changes to the truck, your connections, vehicles, apps and permissions and all that kind of stuff there. It's really pretty simple to figure out, but I like the fact that it's all here and it's all easy to use. Your push button start, dual zone climate control, fan speed, heated and ventilated seats, several different options here for turning things on and off. Very simple. I don't have to tell you much about what is there, but just overall a great truck. And to top it all off, you've got that rear view camera mirror. If you want to have the conventional style rear view mirror, well, you can do that. Or you can pull that little lever forward on the bottom of the mirror and it goes into the camera mode. It has everything. That way, if you have somebody who maybe is blocking your view in the rear seat area, well, GMC thought about that and that problem is solved. All right, we're gonna hop out on the road for our test drive. And the thing about these trucks, is that depending on what you want under the hood, well, there are multiple engine options available. You can go with a 2.7 liter four cylinder. You can go with a three liter diesel six cylinder engine. You can also go with the 5.3 liter V8. It makes 377 horsepower. But if you want the most, obviously you want to go with what we have here, the six, 420 horsepower 6.2 liter V8. It definitely does the job. Plenty of power, plenty of capability, and definitely a lot of option for towing and for hauling and all that good stuff. It's all here and it's all so easy to customize your truck to whatever you want. You can order it if you want to, or you can come by Morgan Buick GMC and buy this truck if you do that. Tell whoever you talk to in sales that Tom from Vehicle Visionary sent you and probably already said it in the video, but there's always a link down in the description of the video to tell you all about this vehicle if it's in inventory. So 
couple of things that I want to share that I haven't said anything about yet. There is a heads-up display. You have a power adjustable steering wheel that definitely does a good job as we watch the FedEx truck fail to yield as he ran the light there turning right. <laughs> I'm sure you saw that on video. By the way, do you like this particular view? More of a yeah, kind of a first person view, but you don't have to worry about it being on my head. So when I turn my head, it's not a problem for you. But th there is just so much here to be able to take advantage of and tell you about. I'm trying to remember to tell you everything, but I'll tell you what, there's just so much. It's sometimes hard to get through everything in one video. But as far as acceleration goes, no problem whatsoever. This truck is very easy to maneuver around. Obviously, if you get in a tight spot, well, you've got all those practically endless camera views that you can take advantage of. That is always a big benefit. If somebody parks too close to you and you're worried about running into them, you sure don't want to scratch the paint on your brand new truck. Well, obviously that problem is really resolved. You don't have to worry about that because you can see everything around you. So let's get out here and just do a quick little acceleration test. Can't do much because I have a bunch of cars in front of me, so we can't do too much. And you know, it's very interesting to talk about the subject of the modern day truck because these trucks are so luxurious today compared to what they used to be. You know, really gone are the days of the reference of a pickup truck. It's a luxury truck now, at least with these Denali's it sure is just unbelievable how comfortable they are compared to what they used to be. You've got more wheelbase, that makes a big difference. Everything is being done differently, but still it has the functionality of a truck for hauling and towing, but you have these advantages of things such as heated and ventilated seats, uh, you've got the rear view camera mirror that you're actually getting a pretty good look at today from my point of view that I've given you with the GoPro. So that helps out. You've got Google Assistant that's completely interactive where, well, you basically don't have to take your eyes off the road if you don't need to or don't want to for things such as commands for maps for seeing what you're where you need to go navigation and all that good stuff also she'll even tell you how much gas you have left even though it is right down here on the dashboard but so many different things here that at one point 20 or 30 years ago or maybe even less than that nobody even considered possible in a truck so overall a very nice uh, dare I say plush interior very luxurious it's high-end that's for sure It'll be very interesting to see when the Sierra gets a full redesign, what GMC comes up with. That's that's always an interesting thing. Obviously, they didn't do a full redesign for 2022, just some refresh and a few changes. I know a lot of you are always saying that the interior on the in this truck needed to be updated, and that's pretty much what happened. But overall, this is a very nice truck. A lot of great features. One thing I want to talk about here real quick before we get back to the dealership. One thing I didn't mention earlier with the lighting on this vehicle. Obviously, you have the automatic high beams. They only work at 25 miles per hour and above. So, if you want to turn that on or off, that button is also located over here on the blinker lever, on the very outside of the blinker lever. So, just in case you were curious about that, that is something I meant to tell you about earlier. Boy, I think this guy in the flatbed here with the uh, tow truck must want some business. That's why he just pulled right out in front of us. So tell me down in the comments section, what do you think? Is this truck worth the asking price of $78,195? It definitely has a lot of features, a lot of options, and a lot of additions off of what it would have without upgrading. There is a lot going on here. So tell me what you think. Tell me why you answered the way that you did. I look forward to reading your comments. I gotta say a special thanks to my friends at Morgan Buick GMC for loaning me this truck for the day and all of you for being kind enough to take the time to watch and give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn about other vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you there.